Okay, well, welcome everybody to our little Facebook Live Pilates rounds. Um, just talking about different things with client issues. I feel like sometimes we get so lost in the Pilates of it that we forget what the real life application of it is. So that's been my focus this week in my classes is trying to take it, I'm calling it kind of next steps. So trying to get them to see the connection between what they're doing in Pilates and taking it to that next step. So today's class, I brought it up to sitting for a lot of the class. And so one thing that I thought would be a great tidbit is to talk about what that sitting posture really is and getting people up into a neutral sitting posture. So I have been doing a lot of TheraBand work in sitting and I uh, set them up with their mats folded on, on blocks or on a chair. I just told them to pick out whatever they had. And, and we talked a lot about how in sitting, a lot of things go wrong, especially after sitting for some time, people tend to sink inward and downward. So sitting here is not the same as sitting on my sit bones, right? This is just a little bit. So if you sit and take your meat out of your uh, out of the way, so you're really on your bones. I can feel the tummy pulling in and the back uh, pressing in towards the spine. So neutral spine, as we practice it laying on the mat, I have them do some neutral spine breathing and then come up neutral spine here, finding that position. And then allowing the legs to be downward a little bit helps pull that spine up a little bit in the back. And so one way is to just have them sit here, feel that length, extending the head. I have them hooking the fingers behind the neck to get up taller and then holding there. And then we can do all kinds of our exercises here, but the point is that we stabilize in neutral with the arm motion in a hug a tree, in a scooping or clean, in a out and in offering, and then in a, a lengthened position here. The other thing I use often is I have them sit on their hands because it's really telltale if you sit on your hands. Uh, you can feel where your bones are and you can feel sort of the ischial tuberosity or the pointy part of that bone in your hand. And if I start to slouch, I feel the tips of the bones going forward. And so, <coughs> so I know that if they're going forward, that I'm slouching a bit. And I also know the opposite. If I go too far into an arch, I can feel the bones start to point backwards. So I know that when they feel really straight down into my hands at a straight, in a straight line, then I've got it right organized right in that straight line. And I've got my posture organized. So I can set myself there, hold that posture, and then get to whatever work we did um, you can do kind of your short box series, right, in sitting here, and anything you would do on the reformer, also in sitting here and just having them in that right posture. So ap application from our mat actions on our back up to sitting position in, in everyday life. Computer, reading, writing, eating, driving. So that was my tidbit for today. And now, Allegra, it's all you. Okay, so how's everyone doing today? Good. Yeah. Okay, um, anyone new injuries that I should know about or anything? You guys are all professionals here, you're gonna take care of yourself. You guys know the modifications, right? And if you um, need to modify anything, don't exactly follow me. Always do what your body tells you to do, intuition. And you know, if you need a break, take a break. Um, otherwise, I am going to get started, not to waste any more time. Um, I'm just excited to see you guys, and um, let's get started. So the um, thing that I've been working with, I'm just trying to figure out how to incorporate, like, kind of reformer-esque style stuff into my class, even, you know, because we can't use the reformer now. So what I just wanted to start with is... Um, you're going to need your roller for today, your TheraBand, a long TheraBand, or a towel, or like a yoga belt or something. Um, so we're going to start with the roller, and we're going to just lie down. And for just right now, you can put the roller just uh, right under your knees, and then we'll put them under your feet. Okay. We're just going to start with our breathing. So 
just relax and arms down by your sides long and just feel your if you have any tension in your shoulders and one of the things that um, I like to do in the Pilates um, just is get people to connect with their core because I know when I started like it was just such a weird concept to me I was mostly feeling pain or not pain in my back but feeling tension in my back um, because I'm just super flexible and I guess I tend to tighten more than um, I feel trusting and releasing. So it's sort of been um, kind of a journey of releasing and trusting in the core space and just moving slowly. So I'm just really enthusiastic about getting people connected with their core. So that being said, moving forward. Okay, so let's just start with the breathing. Inhale and exhale. Breathing in through the nose. And out through the mouth. And just as you breathe, you're just feeling the lungs inflate with air, your side lungs, your back lungs, your top lungs. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. Feeling the belly button drop closer to the spine and feeling that action happen with the abs, lower abs, okay? And then inhale and exhale. And moving into coccyx curl on our next breath out. Inhale and exhale, okay? And think about lengthening the spine, flattening the spine on the mat as you hollow your belly and using the belly to tilt your pelvis. Okay, come back to neutral. Again, inhale and exhale. Coccyx curl. Again, inhale and exhale. This is a really nice way to just loosen up the back, elongate the spine, and just feeling your belly start to activate. Release, again, inhale and exhale. Hollowing the belly, using your breath as you exhale, pulling it closer in and tilting the pelvis and coming back to neutral, okay? So now, um, Roll to your side and just put the roller right at your feet. And you're gonna have the roller right at the balls of your feet. And they're gonna be together, it's gonna be harder. Um, a little bit apart is gonna be easier. So what I just to move back a little bit. Let's turn it the other way. Okay, so you're starting, your knees are bent and your feet are slightly apart on the balls of your feet. Okay, and then just like the footwork on the reformer, we're going to let the roller roll away from us and we're coming right to our Achilles tendon, right? You're gonna inhale, exhale here and using just your belly and the attraction of your feet on the roller, bring that roller towards you up to the balls of the feet, okay? And out. Just feel nice and relaxed here. Inhale and exhale. Coming back to your Achilles tendon. Legs are long, but don't collapse in. Do an arch spine here and then bring it in again. You okay, know, you can slightly come to pointed toes if you want. And then lengthen out. It's just really nice because I feel a lot of um, centering in the belly, connecting it with my legs here. Just waking up the other parts of the body, the inner thighs, and connecting it with the breath. Okay, and out. And now bring it back in, and we're going to come into like a Pilates first position. So just bringing the heels together, and your heels are um, up a little bit like high heels. Okay, and we're just going to do the same thing again. 
pressing out, going out until the inner thighs touch each other and then come in. Coming up to the balls of feet or the toes as you come in and then lengthen out. And coming in and out. And just try to be aware here. I'm aware that I'm kind of tensing my shoulders as I bring it in. I'm just gonna try to be relaxed and bringing it out. Good, and then come back in. All right, and then we're going to um, come back to our first uh, foot position. And we're gonna be on the balls of our feet and then we're gonna bring one leg up to tabletop. Okay, and here you can either stay with this, keeping the leg up into tabletop, bring it in, or you can straighten the leg. Both legs are straight now here. And leg comes back into tabletop as that other leg comes in. Okay, for one and two. Back to that was two. And three. And four. And five. And six. Good. Place that foot down on the roller. Other leg comes into the tabletop, and you have your leg choices. Bring it in, keeping your nice neutral spine. Two. Try not to let the roller get away from you. You're rolling it to your Achilles tendon, and it's touching your heel, and or your foot, all of your foot. Maybe just getting a little foot massage as well. Okay, let's do one more. And back in. Good. All right, so keeping your feet on the roller, bring it back in. And we're gonna do some bridging here now. So we're all familiar with bridging. And so you're having the arches of your feet on the roller and already I feel work here. My hamstrings are engaging. But let's inhale and exhale. Come through our coccyx curl, adding on to the good difficulty, lifting up, all right, and using your belly to keep those hips narrow, feeling your hamstrings. Hamstrings are working like crazy here, okay, and then come all the way down, rolling the spine down, vertebrae by vertebrae, Something neutral. Again, inhale. Nice big inhale. Exhale, hollowing that belly, using the belly to help lift you up, right? Holding it there. And then rolling down. Inhale. Exhale, really focusing in on the belly and lengthening in the torso, okay? And then feeling the weight evenly on the arches of your feet. I noticed my left leg was turning out. Okay, and now as you roll down, roll down slowly and notice that spot where your back wants to go a little funky, not roll down all the way properly. Release, okay, come back up. Good, and from here, we're just going to do press the roller out one or two inches and then bring it back for one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Oh, your legs should be on fire. Rolling down, take a breath. And then bring your knees to your chest and just roll side to side. Good. And then we are going to, what are we doing next here? Um, okay, so push the roller to the side. Say bye bye to the roller here. And we're going to do some of our upper ab curls now. So Bringing our hands behind our head, feet on the floor, and you're going to uh, think about slightly bringing 
your chin towards your chest as you feel the back of your skull lengthening a little bit, just placing your thumbs on your neck, right? And then bring your elbows a little bit closer to help activate your serratus on the sides. I very flexible and disconnected, so I like to cue that. It helps me feel more connected with my upper abs. Okay, so take a big inhale and exhale. Lifting up, okay, holding it there, and then rolling down. Good. Inhale, exhale. And you're in your neutral spine, right? And then coming down, breathing in, letting all the air out, and coming up. And over your belly, keep as if somebody could stand on your belly because it's not pooched out, it's nice and engaged. Okay, and then come down again, inhale and exhale, holding up there. Okay, and then coming down again, inhale and exhale. Really noticing that you're keeping in your neutral spine. As it goes on, I notice that I crept into a more of a flatter spine, okay? Hold it there, and then let's do little pulses up here. Working on the eccentric motion. Little pulses up and down, or one inch down and up, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Good. Coming down, and then we'll just take a slight twist. So rolling over to the side, knees come to the side, and my hips are nice and stacked, and I'm just looking up at the ceiling, taking a breath. Okay, knees come back to center, and then rolling to the other side, taking a breath. Right, legs come back up. And then we're gonna try um, coming up to balance point here, or you can just stay in uh, imprinted spine. So in spine imprint, as you know, looks like this. You're just legs and tabletop, upper up curl, or you're holding on to the back of the legs, and I hope I'm doing that right. And you, knees come up to the ceiling as you lift up. Slowly, bellies in, scoop and chest is open. Okay, and then rolling back down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Okay, feet come down. All right, so we are going to move on to the hundreds here. So I'm gonna roll over to my side and I'm going to grab my bear band or strap. Okay, so this is helpful. So you're gonna put the strap just under your legs here, okay? And this is helpful, I find, for engaging the lats. So legs come up into tabletop, okay? And then I'm inhaling, exhaling, coming up, and then I'm gonna start pumping my arms, right? Inhale, two, three, four, exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale. And then pick your leg position, Inhale, two, three, four, exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, exhale. So really squeezing your glutes together. Think about hollowing the belly or reverse order, hollow the belly, squeeze the glutes and lengthening those arms. Trying to come up a little bit higher maybe, but thinking about going deeper as you do it. So you may not even go up higher, just trying to get a deeper contraction. All right, last time. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Good. And down. That might have been 110. Maybe it was 80. I lost count, but I think uh, we have the leeway there. Okay. So now let's, um, we're going to get on our roller. So bringing it under our buns here, and then lifting up our buns, and just coming on our sacrum here. 
have a moment there. Okay, so we're gonna, I like to just be really supported today. I think by Thursday, I don't know about you all, but like just from doing Pilates in life, like I just feel like really sore and I just want to get support out of the exercises, but I, I also wanna just feel super connected. Okay, so we'll start with a single leg stretch. Our legs are in tabletop and I'm just gonna hold on right to the outside roller, make sure that it's straight and even and we're just gonna point one leg out. Bring it in. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. I'm going to try to bring my legs a little bit lower here without compromising my base C curve and abdominal scoop. So, as you notice, I was just inhaling. Doing both sides and then exhaling, doing both sides. Do one more set. Good. And then holding my knees for a moment. And then we're going to bring our legs up, heels together. And we're going to do our double leg lower lift. I think I got it right. Okay. Sometimes I call it lift lower. Okay. Still in the same position, and we're just going to bring our legs down only to the point where your back doesn't arch. So that's your range. That's your natural range. Keeping a nice scoop in the belly and reaching long with the legs. And inhaling down, exhaling up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, two more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good. And then I'm just going to keep squeezing my heels together, bringing my knees um, into a frog position, knees open to our froggy position. And then I'm going to squeeze my heels out, legs long, and then come in. Squeezing them out and in. Making sure here that you're not slouching into the shoulders. I noticed that I was doing that. And in, and up, and in, and up, and in. All right, so I'm bringing our legs back up, okay? And then we're gonna do some leg circles here. So. I'm pointing my toes and I am resetting myself in my nice hollow belly, making sure that the roller can get away from you. So I'm moving my legs slightly towards me, opening them out to the side, coming down as long as I can, heels squeeze together, come up for one. And two. And three. Nice big motion, warming up the hip sockets. I'm gonna go a little bit smaller because I feel some more creaking in my hips. And that sometimes is a sign that we should go a little bit smaller in the range of motion. All right, coming back up and then we'll reverse directions. One, and two, and three, and four, and if you find it easier to keep your feet in parallel when they're passing through center, go do that and bring them back to the turnout as you open out to the side. Okay, two more. Good, legs come back up. And then um, you can either put your feet back down on the mat or I'm gonna do a mini version of the rollover, which is not back safe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place my hands on top of the roller and then keeping the roller steady there. Actually, hold on to the sides. I've done this twice so far. I gotta remember which one I did. Hold on to the sides of the roller and then your thumbs are on the top of the roller. So push up and back, okay? Feet together and then open them and then rolling down, rolling the roller away from you. Good, and then your feet just come down on the floor. Good, okay, so 
um, let's go ahead and um, we're going to practice a roll up here, which is not that safe. And if you don't want to do that, you can just come back into your nice imprinted spine, holding there, which will focus on the muscles that we want to work on, the inner, I mean the lower abs. Otherwise, go ahead and grab your strap. And we're going to sit up first and place the strap on, or the towel, on the soles of your feet, okay, slightly. Actually, you should try to be around the toes a little bit so the strap doesn't get away from you. Okay, and then I'm going to start sitting up. And my heels are on the ground. And then I'm getting my nice scoop belly coming all the way down. And then I'm going to straighten my legs here, still holding on to the strap. My arms are long. And then I'm just slightly bending my knees. I'm Coming into my upper ab curl, arms are long, and then lifting up, legs are straight. And then we'll try that one more time. Bend my knees slightly, or you can keep them straight, rolling back, vertebrae by vertebrae, legs straight. And then you can either keep your legs straight or bent, pressing your heels into the mat. Inhale, exhale, coming into your upper ab curl, coming through, rolling up, sitting up. Good. All right. So putting the strap to the side there and um, actually keep your strap. Don't put it to the side. We're just going to do some stretch here. So lying down and crane your leg up. Okay. So leg is long or your Leg is, other leg is bent. And just feeling a nice stretch in the back of the leg. Making sure that you're not rounding your shoulders forward as you hold onto the strap. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the strap in my right hand. I have the strap around my right uh, ball of my foot. And then I'm going to rotate that leg over to the left, crossing my body and feeling a nice, oops, lost the strap there. Feeling a nice IT stretch. And if you have the flexibility and you want to be a little bit adventurous, you can twist more, almost bringing that leg down to the floor, and you can open that arm up to the side. Nice spine twist there. All right, bring that leg back up, and then I'm going to bend that other knee if you um, have your legs straight, and I'm going to do an inner thigh stretch. I find this really supportive for my inner thigh because I have not a lot of stability and it helps me keep my hip center. So I'm trying to keep that bent knee stable. My knee's pointing up to the ceiling and I'm opening the opposite leg out to the side. All right, bringing my leg back up and then gracefully switching legs and Breathing into the stretch of the hamstring. And of course, you all know modifications if you need them, bending your knees slightly. But most importantly, keep those hips on the mat and those shoulders. Keep the shoulder blades on the mat, not punching forward. Okay, and then grabbing the strap with the right hand and then rotating over to the left. That's why it was so difficult on the other side. I had it in the opposite hand. Okay. And so I'm twisting all the way over. Whatever version you're doing, making sure that your belly is in, helping to support your spine. And you are just feeling a nice stretch and not going beyond your limits. 
and I'm looking up to the ceiling and that other shoulder is away from my head and I'm reaching that arm nice and long away from me. You're bringing the leg back up and then bending the other knee, holding the strap in the same hand and opening the leg out to the side. And as you see, I'm not going very far on the side because I need to play it safe. Actually, I encourage modifications. Any modifications you need to do, just do them for your body. It does so much for you. Okay, and then bring your leg back up. All right, so now we've stretched out our legs. And let me see what I have next here. Um, we're going to try our balance point again. So lying back, um, if you had to get up, so doing your spine imprint for coming up to the balance point, holding up the back of your legs, okay? And my belly is scooped, chest is open. I'm gonna inhale, exhale, upper ab curl, coming up, pressing my thighs away from me, holding it there, right? I'm not on my lower back, I'm on my six bones, holding myself there, okay? And then you can either just put your feet on the floor and roll back, or you can roll down. Okay. That might not legitimately be a Pilates pose, I'm not sure. Um, okay, so now, um, what do I have next here? Oh, okay, so, sorry guys, let's do that one more time. It'll be good for your abs. Okay, so coming up to balance point. Now this was the trick that I was going to do. Now we're coming into the single leg stretch, okay? So coming down to the tips of your shoulders, holding the top of that knee, and the other leg goes up. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. All right, lying down, and then we'll move on to our crisscross. So hands behind your neck, legs in tabletop, inhale, exhale, come up, and then I'm rotating over to the right, going back to center, keeping my upper arm curl, just rotating for two, and three. Keeping both hips on the mat, five, Six, seven, and eight. All right, um, we already did the ver version of the double leg lower lift, which I find is very hard. So we're gonna skip that one and we're gonna go into the double leg stretch, which is also hard. Okay, holding onto the tops of your knees, lifting your head, neck, and shoulders up. Take a big inhale. And exhale, arms and legs go away from you. Rounding those arms like angels, bring it back in for one. Head doesn't move. Three, bring the arms around. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, everything comes down. Take a breath. All right, so now moving on to our scissor kicks here. Take modifications if you need to. I'm gonna be doing the modified version today. So I'm bringing, holding onto the backs of my knees, lifting my head, neck, and shoulders up, and I'm just doing more of a toe tap, right? Toe tap down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Good. Knees to chest. Take a breath. Inhale. Exhale. All right. So now we are going to roll over and go ahead and have your roller close by you.
Okay, and we're gonna be working with some swan now. And if you have a watch on, I recommend taking it off for this perk. Okay, so coming on to the belly. And if you don't have a roller, um, I think everyone has a roller here. Yeah, you guys look like you have rollers too. Okay. So just lying down and going to put like your karate top in the roller. Okay, I have it right at my wrist. My arms are a little bit wider than my torso. And I'm just gonna press my pubic bone into the mat, but not using my hip flexors, right? And using my belly to make that happen. Okay, and you're nice and long. And then your legs are a couple inches apart or wide as the mat or together. I'm gonna keep my legs apart because it feels better on my back. So inhale, exhale, and then coming up, bringing your head up, bringing the roller towards you. Okay. And then coming back down. Inhale, exhale. Wrapping your shoulder blades around. You think of um, swan on the reformer, bellies in, keeping those upper ribs engaged or the upper abs engaged. Neck is long. Okay, coming down. Inhale, exhale, bringing that roller towards you. You shouldn't feel any tension in your lower back. If you do, just reset and come down and maybe not use the roller. Come down. Okay, and then if you want to move on to um, full swan, I'm going to go ahead and do that. But you're going, so either stay with the baby swan or move on to full swan. So full swan, you're going to bring the roller a little bit closer towards you. So have it about mid forearms. Okay, my palms are facing one another. And now I have to reset my belly. So pulling the pubic bone down towards the mat, using my belly, keeping those upper abs engaged, all the abs engaged. Inhale, exhale, pulling the roller towards me, lifting up into a full swan. Good, and then coming down, pulling the roller away from you. Inhale, exhale. Up into full swan, really belly's really engaged, and you're open your chest forward and then come down. Good. And now we're gonna move on to swimming from here. So first off, starting so roll the roller back to your wrist creases and either have your legs apart or together. I'm gonna have more back safe version as legs apart and I'm going to press in to the right side of it. We'll do swim prep, okay? And then lifting up that left leg and lifting up the head and chest, right? All simultaneously. And come down, take a breath, inhale, exhale, wrapping those shoulder blades, pressing into the roller with the left hand and lengthening that right leg. Just looking straight ahead. And down again, other side. Nice breath in and come up. Legs really long, gauging those glutes. Good, and then come down. And then we'll move on to full swimming. If you want to stay with the previous version, go ahead. Um, this is a little bit more challenging. So lifting your head, neck, and shoulders up, simultaneously lifting your legs, and then full swimming, moving your arms up and down. I'm actually going to turn my palms down. And moving the roller away from you if you need to, if you need to bring your arms a little bit lower. Trying to keep really engaged in the belly and working the back. 
keeping long, no crunching of the neck. Keep swimming. All right, and come down. Take a breath. And we'll push back into child's pose. Okay, and then I'm just going to open my knees and do another child's pose. The first version I just did was my knees together, feet together. It's more in your lower back. Stretch is more in the lower back. This one feels better for my hamstring. All right, I'm coming back up and we'll come into our cat pose. So you have your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees, and I'm just going to shake everything out first. Shake the buns, shake the arms, loosen everything up. All right, and then just take a nice breath in, and as we exhale, hollowing the belly, looking towards our belly, so our upper ab curl, and we're rounding the lower spine. We're coming back to a neutral spine, neutral head. Head is lifting down on the floor. Another breath in and exhale. Looking back towards that belly. Not forcefully back, just gently back. It just helps guide the motion. Okay, and then I'm going to push back into my um, buns, so my buns are closer to my heels, getting more of a cat stretch. Okay, and then coming back up, and then we're going to do um, what I call hover cat. You might have heard this before. Um, so we're on all fours. So all we're doing by hovering is I'm just coming, um, circling. What am I trying to say? I'm coming out to the balls of, of my, almost to the balls of my feet. I'm just turning my toes the other way. Okay, I'm going to inhale, exhale, and just lift my knees up, right? Holding that there for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Knees down. Take a breath. And then we'll do it for one more time, holding that there. Inhale, exhale, lifting those knees up, bellies in, a little bit of a rounded spine, coccyx curl in the bottom. All right, I think that was 10. Come down, and then what do I have next here? Oh, I know what I have next. So we're gonna come up onto our knees. And I'll just turn to the side so you can see me better here. So I have my hands on my back. We're just going to get a, a chest opening. So think about our nice posture. So we're just going to lengthen our spine, right? Feel our neutral spine. Just kind of shift our weight forward a little bit in our knees and back a little bit. Just find that sweet spot where you feel nice and balanced. Right, relaxed shoulders, head is long as if somebody had a string pulling your head up. All right, so just bring your hands on your lower back and keeping that engagement in your belly, just trying to bring your elbows a little bit closer together. Might not go very far. You just want to feel a little bit of a chest opening here. You take a breath, inhale. Exhale, good, inhale, exhale, good. And then placing your hands back down onto the mat, we'll come into a downward dog position. Okay, and we're just gonna pedal our feet back and forth. And keep your knees bent if this is too challenging, or your hamstrings are tight. A little knee bending off to get your heels all the way down to the floor. Keep pedaling those feet. All right, and then moving your hands back towards your feet and 
And we're going to come up into a roll up. If that's not okay for you, I should have told you. So I'm going to just stay in that um, pose, the downward dog. So inhale, exhale, bellies in, exhale, rolling up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Your head is the last thing up. Okay, and then you're going to bring your arms above your head. Take a breath, and then you're going to bring them down. And then you're going to come back down and come into your plank pose. And we're going to do a push-up here. Okay, I got this from Teresa. She inspired me to do this one. Okay, we're going to do, I'm going to just do a little baby push-up. Take your push-up position. Elbows back, coming down just a few inches, coming back up. Okay, then pushing back. You're coming, your hands are right in front of your feet, your rounded spine. You're going to inhale, exhale, rolling up slowly to the top, slacking each vertebrae. Open your chest, arms above your head, and then bring them down, and then come forward again. Okay, coming down, doing push up, and up, maybe going a little bit farther this time, and then pushing back. Okay, bang my knee slightly, rolling up again. Arms above my head, breath, and then making your way forward again to another plank. This time I'm gonna bring my heels together, first position, Pilates V, and Pushing down, push up, pull that belly in, push back. Okay, turning my feet back to parallel, inhale, exhale, slowly rolling up, and arms above your head, and then give yourself a hug. You deserve it, because we can't hug so much these days, okay. That's all, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Anyone have any questions or anything? No, thank you, Allegra. Yeah. You're welcome. I was going to say, I liked the, um, the footwork on the roller. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Thanks. Yeah, yeah I, was, um, I actually was inspired by a woman on Pilates Anytime, and it's a little bit clunky to kind of get so the roller doesn't go away from you but I think once you make that connection I really found it um positive for just the like the getting the belly engaged and kind of similar to that uh, reformer work a little bit yeah no I just thank you so much for doing that Allegra I really appreciate it and really fun some really fun changes and cues and I really I'm agreeing with the Genevieve on the footwork was really creative. I like that idea. I liked how that felt um, for a lot of reasons. Uh, and I like your connecting through the body. I like how you try and connect things through the body really well, cohesively. No, it was great. Thank you so much.